Machine learning for biomedical data is a series of asynchronous courses on omics logic that are focused on the logic and application of machine learning and data science for biomedical data, starting with the user-friendly tbiinfo platform and providing technical in-depth overview of coding these methods in R and Python. This course in Python will show how to write the code and call various types of analysis to wrangle, visualize, and analyze data. We will see how to apply statistical methods of analysis and prepare your data set for machine learning or data mining. We will also cover applications of unsupervised and supervised machine learning and provide examples of deep learning models for analysis, classification, feature selection, and visualization. We'll review the concepts behind a common challenge in biomedical data, finding signal in noisy data sets, and finding a biological explanation for the results. We will see the challenges and opportunities on how to use machine learning and find complex molecular characteristics that can be associated with a condition that we can interpret. The course has several lessons on each topic and is linked to example data sets in various biomedical research domains like cancer. Each lesson comes with a practice console that you can use right in the browser, learning about the logic, syntax, and testing your understanding with hands-on exercises that have predefined answers so you will be able to check that you are actually getting the right result that was intended for a piece of code. In the section breakdown, you will learn about the objectives and strategies for a given method. Then you will see how to code the solution, learning the syntax of the code, and then you will be able to test your understanding with assignments and coding challenges. Once you understand how to write and execute the code, you will be given a link to a Jupyter Notebook that you can use as a starting point for submitting the assignment, checking that you are getting the right results, and that you can address all of the challenges that were explained in the lesson. Assignments include technical as well as conceptual examples where the methods are going to be used for meaningful analysis that you can use. So you will see how the same assignments will be useful in your research projects as you get involved deeper and deeper in a particular domain. Examples will showcase how some of these popular techniques are used in real research projects sourced from peer-reviewed publications. So let's get started. Our first step would be learning about the way to load and prepare the data for analysis, a task that anyone has to master before getting into the more complex analysis and visualization methods that we will discuss throughout the course.